Hi guys, Lynn here and welcome back to another Starfield guide video. Today we are going over how to get all the best unique items in Starfield, the seven legendary weapons and armor sets. These are all unique items and are also some of the best you can find. Let's take a look. In Aquila City, you can start a quest chain by speaking to Keone and a guard named Davis Wilson. This starts defensive measures and a chain of side quests. Upon completing the quest, you progress to the mission False Positives and then later Leader of the Pack. Completion of Leader of the Pack will reward you with the legendary sniper rifle, which you will get from Keone called the Spondent Assassin. The UC Anti-Xeno spacesuit is found during the UC faction mission Hostile Intelligence, and before you head into Londinium, you will get an optional side quest to head to the Armory, and here you can pick up your unique armor set. I picked this up at the time, but it is possible you can't return here and is missable, so make sure you do this before doing the mission. The Keel Hauler is a reward for completing Echoes of the Past Crimson Fleet Faction mission. Simply complete the mission and Delgado will give you the weapon at the end when you're on the key. You can obtain all three components of the Mantis armor set by doing the Mantis mission that is located in a secret base in the Denebola 1B. Clear out the spacers and obtain the Mantis spacesuit from a display case along with the unique Mantis ship. All you must do is loot a secret slate from a spacer, and usually you will get one while doing some of the early main missions, however this is not missable and you can loot the slate from any spacer who you come across in the galaxy. Then all you do is read the slate and the mission will begin. To get the game's second best unique armour, the Peacemaker set, you must complete the Peacemaker questline. This is started when you travel to the Elios Retreat in the Exostar system, and here a member of the Retreat has gone missing and it's up to you to find them. All you need to do is complete the four quests, where you find who kidnapped the guy, and then you also need to travel to Aquila City at the end to talk with the Retreat's biggest donor and give the Retreat a good review, at which point you'll be rewarded with the Peacemaker armor set and weapon as a reward. The Revenant is found during the second last Crimson Fleet Faction mission. It's located on a table in the vault at the end of the Eye of the Storm, where you download Dea next to Crix's body and there's a pile of credit sticks. I've not tried to go back on the station, however, it does start to blow up so it's possible you cannot return, and that means that the game's best weapon, the Revenant, is probably missable, so make sure to pick it up. To get the best armor set in Starfield, you must save the people of Nishina, a place you go to during the main story to find an artifact. Inside, you're constantly switching between two different realities. The regular one has a bunch of people living inside, and there is a ruined version with someone called Raphael. Basically, you need to get the artifact at the end of the mission and turn it off, but in doing so will result in one of the universes being permanently destroyed. So it's up to you which one you want to save. However, if you manage to match the two universes' frequencies using the computer, you can save both and are rewarded with unique and best experimental Nishina spacesuit and helmet. And again, unfortunately, there is no pack with this one, but the spacesuit and helmet themselves are the best ones you can get. So guys, that is it, how to get all seven unique legendary items in Starfield, including the game's best weapon and armor, the Revenant and the Nishina armor. But like and subscribe for more guides, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Be a part of this. We're here at Remind Metal.